Hi guys, so today I'm back with another fall DIY. I have been doing so many back to back and I think so far this one may just be my favorite. So what I'm actually gonna do today is a Dollar Tree fall pillow. Now I am using my existing pillows that I have in my house and I do have a fall earthy tone colors going throughout my house all year round because they are my favorite. So if you don't have, you know, a fall pillow or colors that match your fall decor, you can simply go to like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and buy just a like, you know, cloth material and you can just use hot glue to make your pillowcase. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use this ribbon that I've wrapped my navy pillow with that has really beautiful gold sparkles. And I'm trying to use things that I already have on hand. So I want to go with obviously a really cute fall theme. So I'm just kind of showcasing all of these little things that I have from the Dollar Tree, different ribbons, different, you know, materials like the little acorns and leaves and things like that. So, but what I want to do is I want to make a leaf pillow. So I am going to take this little piece of yarn and tie the center of my ribbon just because it will look a lot prettier with the middle cinched in. So I'm gonna trim off the ends, and then I'm going to take these leaves that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. I pull the little long stem out, and then I cut the ends, and they are rubber, so no wire in them, and then I'm gonna use hot glue to attach them. So the red sparkly maple leaves are the biggest in this package, so I wanted them to be the first layer. I also recently used these same leaves in my pumpkin candle holder DIY, so I will link that down below if you're interested. And that's what I love about this project is I keep bringing in the same materials, so it keeps everything cohesive. So as you can see, I'm just building my leaves on top of one another, and I'm making sure that I'm hot gluing to the ribbon, because eventually after fall, I will remove this decor off of my pillow so that I can bring my original pillow back in with my original all year round decor. How gorgeous is that? So simple and stunning. So anyway, yes, like I said, I'm trying to keep the hot glue off of the pillow, so be sure that you are hot gluing to the ribbon itself. Now here's my other pillow that I have in my house. It's orange. Like I said, I have this earthy tone love color, and I am missing a button because my dog ate it. So I'm just showing you the different ribbons from the Dollar Tree and showing you what it would look like if you just simply did a ribbon. But I already knew exactly what I wanted to do with this specific pillow. So I'm taking burlap, and this is the only thing I had. It's from the Dollar Tree, but I will tell you that I will never buy this burlap from the Dollar Tree again, because as you can see, the little like pieces like come apart from each other. So it's not the best quality, so I will purchase more burlap from Hobby Lobby, and I can just use a 50% off coupon when it's on sale, and it will be just as great or better price than Dollar Tree and more material. So I'm snipping off the little pieces that have come unwoven and I'm gonna use some hot glue right here so that it won't keep unraveling. And then I have the main attraction here, the focal point, which is this cute little owl that I hauled from the Dollar Tree. If you're interested, I have all of my hauls up on my main channel and I'm just gonna hot glue him down to the center. And I just wanted to keep it that simple because I do have a lot of fall decor and I don't wanna make everything too busy. And he is just so adorable. I can't even deal with this. I hope that you guys love this tutorial. I'm so happy that I can share with you guys, you know, ways to do beautiful things on a Dollar Tree budget. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget that you can also watch all of my fall videos from last year. So I will link my fall frames, my football bags, it is football season, yay, and my Dollar Tree fall fruit jars. So all of these photos here, you can click on them and it will take you straight to that video. But just so that you know, it doesn't actually work for mobile devices and I don't think that it works for a Chrome platform. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another DIY and happy fall. Bye